for those who are wondering, but where is the youth? And complaining that we do not have youth voice on this opening ceremony, may I respond to you that we have an able representative of the youth, of the Rwandan youth here with us, Honorable Rosemary Mbebazi, the Minister of Youth in the Republic of Rwanda. You are welcome for your remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Ministers from uh, respective countries that are represented here, the Executive Chairperson of CAPA, the Secretary General of CAPA, the Vice Chancellors of Technical Universities and Polytechnics, Heads of re and Representatives of Public and Private Institutions, Development Partners, Youth Representatives, though they say they represent, but I know they are here, Youth Representatives, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. It's a great pleasure and honor to have you all here today to participate in this momentous occasion, the Kigali Kappa Conference. This is another important opportunity for all of us to share the best practices and innovative ideas to promote technical and vocational education and training for youth quick employment. On behalf of the government of Rwanda, I welcome you all to this opening ceremony of 2019 Kappa International Conference. I also want to thank you all who organized and played various roles to make this event a success. It is important that you use this event to share freely your knowledge and experiences, which will help make it more impactful for Rwanda, Kappa's communities, as well as for all other countries represented here today. The main theme of the 2019 Kigali Kappa International Conference is to build partnerships for the promotion of TVET, for innovation, entrepreneurship, and youth employment in Africa. It will be an opportunity to showcase and inspire the world-class excellence in skills and introduce youth to a variety of skills careers, public talks on different themes related to skills development approaches, and challenges faced by different national and international actors, as well as showcase different innovations from TVET sector. The CAPA 2019 International Conference will focus on five key objectives. Number one is to raise the need for rapid industrialization of African economies and bring them to center stage for policy initiatives and strategic actions by governments and stakeholders. Two, to highlight issues on public-private partnerships in expanding TVET space and developing vocational education and skills in African countries. Three, is to promote a keen awareness and interest among TVET institutions in the development visions at continental and country levels, and to enhance the leadership and management capacity to key in, adapt, and translate such visions into development projects at institutional level. Four is to provide exposures, build strategic partnerships to enhance skilled technical manpower and industrial development in Africa. Last but not least is to create a shared understanding of Africa's culture and religious diversity and commitment to youth empowerment for social harmony national building and development in Africa. I want to, as I conclude, I want to thank all partners, especially the private sector present, because jobs cannot be created by government. The government provides an enabling environment and the private sector creates the jobs. I also want to encourage the youth present today. I believe you've been listening and you keep on listening. But I advise that you grab the opportunity at your disposal. Use your competences to effect changes you wish to see in the society. To the policymakers, development partners, the civil society, it's our call to create an enabling environment to provide an ecosystem that enables youth become who they wish to be. Let us be the bridge 
that connects the youth to opportunities.